What is oxygen? Oxygen is a non-metallic chemical element, normally gaseous, extremely abundant in our atmosphere 20.8% of its current volume. And the third most abundant in the universe, after hydrogen and helium. It is essential for life as we know it, especially because of its ability to form a water molecule H2O, together with hydrogen. The name of oxygen comes from the ancient Greek oxys acid, and genos producer, generator, that is. It means producer of acids because in those days it was wrongly assumed that acids contained a high oxygen content, and hence its corrosive power. In the periodic table it is represented as O. The oxygen molecule is usually diatomic O2 or triatomic ozone O3 under certain pressure conditions. As it has a very high reactivity, atoms of this element are found in numerous organic and inorganic compounds on the planet, in the various states of aggregation of matter. It is, therefore, an extremely common substance in the world and the known universe. Oxygen in the periodic table. In the periodic table, oxygen is found at the beginning of group 16, via, among the non-metallic elements. It is followed by sulfur S, selenium SE, and tellurium Te. It has an atomic number of 8. It is one of the elements that, under ordinary pressure and temperature conditions, is in a gaseous state. When was oxygen discovered? John Dalton, Oxygen. John Dalton elaborated his atomic theory giving rise to the technology of liquefying gases. Although many of its properties were known from the study of air since ancient times, oxygen as an element was discovered in 1772 by Carl Wilhelm Scheele. This Swedish pharmacist noticed, while burning mercury oxide, that a «fire air» was released. Other scientists of the time, such as the British clergyman Joseph Priestley, made the same discovery in analogous experiments and gave it the name «deflogisticated air». Later, Antoine de Lavoisier devoted himself to the study of combustion and oxidation, and discarded the theories about phlogiston, which was a supposed substance present in everything combustible. On the contrary, he proposed the existence of a new chemical element, oxygen. In 1808 John Dalton developed his atomic theory, which led to the development of the technology of liquefied gases. Thus it was possible to isolate the oxygen molecule from certain oxides. Chemical properties of oxygen. Oxygen, oxidation. Because it is very reactive, oxygen forms rust and corrodes surfaces. Oxygen is a highly reactive chemical, capable of forming compounds with almost all known elements except the noble gases. It is a non-metallic element, very electronegative. It is the main of the amphigens, formers of acids and bases, and its oxidation states are minus 2 and minus 1, it receives electrons. Oxygen has three natural and stable isotopes. 16O, 17O and 18O, the first being the most abundant 99.762%. In all its presentations it is a highly reactive and flammable substance, which in contact with metals forms oxides and corrodes surfaces. Physical properties of oxygen. Oxygen can condense at minus 182.95 degrees Celsius and freeze at minus 218.79 degrees Celsius. Oxygen under ordinary conditions manifests itself as a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas. It is highly combustible and much more soluble than nitrogen. Fresh water contains around 6.04 milliliters of oxygen per liter, while seawater contains 4.95 milliliters per liter. On the other hand, oxygen can condense at minus 182.95 degrees Celsius and freeze at minus 218.79 degrees Celsius, becoming liquid and solid respectively, with a faint blue color. Biological importance of oxygen. Oxygen is fundamental in life as we know it, in the first place, because it is part of the sugars and proteins that make up the essential biological substances. Sugars, proteins, amino acids, etc. It also constitutes the essential molecules metabolism obtaining energy of living beings. For example, in the photosynthesis of bacteria, plants and other plant organisms, carbon dioxide CO2, in the air is used to conserve carbon and through the energy extracted from sunlight, also break down water molecules and produce glucose, its own food source. 
Lastly, oxygen is released into the environment. Thanks to this process, 2.5 billion years ago the atmosphere began to fill with this element. Many anaerobic life forms at the time were eliminated. On the contrary, animals and other living beings capable of breathing, we need atmospheric oxygen to break down the glucose molecules that we obtain from food. In this way, we obtain the necessary energy to survive. This process takes O2 from the air and releases CO2 as a byproduct. Industrial use of oxygen. Oxygen is used as a breathing gas to maintain surgical patients. Oxygen has enormous applications in human industries, such as medical uses. Oxygen is used as a breathable gas in the maintenance of life for surgical patients and as therapy, oxygen therapy, for patients with heart and lung conditions, etc. Certain synthetic isotopes such as 15O are used for positron scans. Life support. In space, submarine and similar missions, low-pressure gaseous oxygen is used as a breathable gas, to sustain the habitability levels of suits, ships and rooms. Industrial uses. 55% of the oxygen produced worldwide in laboratories is used for the production of iron alloys such as steel. Another 25% goes to the chemical industry, to create ethylene oxide C2H4O, the basis for the manufacture of numerous textile and plastics materials. Finally, oxygen is also used to burn acetylene and make torches capable of cutting metal very quickly. Fuels and purifiers. Oxygen is also used to oxidize rocket fuel, for wastewater treatment or, as ozone O3, for water purifiers. Industrial oxygen production. The industrial production of oxygen occurs mainly through two methods. Zeolite filtering. It consists of passing a jet of clean and dry air through molecular sieves that retain nitrogen and allow an air with an oxygen content of between 90 and 93% to pass through. This method is used to obtain oxygen on a small scale. Electrolysis of water. This method consists of the decomposition of the water molecule by injecting electricity into a dipole. The anode plus attracts the gaseous oxygen molecules to a container, and the cathode attracts the hydrogen molecules, taking advantage of their differences in electronegativity. Dot. Inorganic oxygen compounds. Oxygen. Silicon dioxide CO2, is present in sand and granite. Oxygen reacts with other elements to generally form oxide molecules, due to its powerful electronegativity. In almost all of them an oxidation state of minus 2 is imposed, except for peroxides, which is minus 1. The most common inorganic oxygen compound is water, but there are many oxides in which a metallic element combines with oxygen, such as silicon dioxide CO2. Present in sand and granite, alumina Al present in bauxite and corundum, ferric oxide Fe in hematite and rust, etc. Organic oxygen compounds. In organic chemistry, oxygen is a common element as part of complex macromolecules, such as alcohols RO, ethers ROR, ketones RCOR, aldehydes RCOH, esters RQR, etc. For this reason, many organic solvents have a strong presence of oxygen. However, the majority of organic compounds with oxygen, unlike inorganic ones, are not produced by direct action of it, but as part of more complex chemical processes. Risks in its use. Oxygen, diver. At certain pressures, oxygen can become toxic. Gaseous oxygen O2, can be a toxic agent in the human body when it is at a pressure greater than 50 kPa. It's the kind of pressure that deep-sea divers and divers are subjected to. Symptoms of oxygen poisoning include seizures, eye damage, spasms, and neurological damage. On the other hand, being so combustible, the handling of oxygen in high concentrations implies risks of explosion or fire, since the molecule is prone to rapid combustion.